me and the bay. Me and the bay. <laughs> so we are off to get my lips touched up right now. I'm with Vid. Say hi. hi. I need to get some coffee. You want to go to like a Dunkin'? Is there a Dunkin' close? It's not drive through though. Like, what's a drive through Nothing. Ugh, still. I wanted to get something because I can't. Well, my lips are gonna be swollen. I can't drink with a straw or anything. Not even a straw? No, I can't like move move my lips like that. Just push it in and hold it. Words of wisdom. <laughs> yeah. So we're out here. We're going to get my lips done. Um, I just need to get a little touch up because my body absorbed a little too much of it than I got last time. So we're gonna do that. We in these streets. We in these streets. This is real life. These are my lips. I look like a blow-up dog. So my lips usually swell up crazy. Like when I first get them done, I actually got my bottom lips done too this time. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go see what my mom's reaction to my lips is. Look at my lips. <laughs> you do doing well. You do them back. You can't have fixed up here. So she did not freak out as much as I thought she would have, which is good. Good things, good things. My lips are absolutely gonna go down. Like this is just how it looks like initially, but it will definitely go down. What am I doing today? I have to go buy flowers. I'm gonna go to the flower, the floral, like a floral shop and get some like baby's breath for my gorgeous girl. She's so beautiful. I love her. Look at this. Gorgeous female form body that I got from Urban. So I wanna put some baby's breath in her, which I think would be super cute. Um, I just got an elf order. These are the items that I ordered. So I ordered, these were like, I think getting discontinued. So I ordered five of them. They were like a dollar. Um, they're just a brown pencil that has a little blending brush at the end of them. So I got this. I've been, this is what it looks like actually. I forgot I swatched it there. It's just a plain brown, honestly. Very simple. I love this color though. This is what I use literally every single time. I don't use any other type of lip liner i just use this so i love it then i got this retro paradise um it's like glosses and liners as well my friend was telling me how amazing this one was so i got that pumpkin spice latte ride or die lip balm i actually really like these lip balms i have tough cookie that my friend also recommended alex and this one is just really awesome i actually really like these so i might get some more of these ones and then I got this mint. Um, it's kind of like a shadow. It's like a shadow stick. This is what that looks like. And I'm very excited to use it um, as a base because I have this like Huda, like the mint one. Like, I don't know. I guess, I think it's called the mint one. It's not called the mint one, but it's called mint something. Pastel mint or something. And this would be a really good base because those colors are very light. So I'm really excited about this one. But yeah, this is my little elf haul. So I've been using Arnica gel, which is really good for the swelling and the bruising. And then um, these Arnica Montana tablets for bruising or muscle soreness. Yeah, we're going to be popping these today. And um, my friend is going to bring me over some um, swelling medication. Um, she's a nurse. So we're going to have that as well. Hopefully this goes down by Saturday because I have to go to my nephew's birthday party. Maybe this is why I can't sleep at night because I drink coffee at like 8.30. So I had a super full day running around doing errands with my mom. Now I'm just sitting down, getting situated, answering some emails, um, planning brand collabs and stuff like that. Um, I got my nails done. They're super cute. I started like when I get my nails done. I'll literally go in and like see which like when they give me the color sheet I see which color like stands out to me the most so this time it was this glitter that was really pretty next to the pink so then I googled pink and orange color palette and then it came up with the purple so I was just like that's cute that's how I pick my nails of the month I just like google color palettes we did that today I took my mom to the doctor, we went to get our nails done, we went to the butcher shop, and then 
we got this really good food um i think it's it's peri peri um it's called frango it's on two 33rd street and hillside it was so good i really really enjoyed it um so definitely check that out if you guys are interested in getting some like really good chicken um their chicken is good their mashed potatoes are good so good choices i got my baby's breast so cute i love that um i do feel like i need to make it a little bit shorter i just want the like that the fl the floral part to like show through but other than that, I think it's beautiful. Right now, I'm actually making a birthday sign for my nephew. And I'm using these little glue dots to stick them on to these chopsticks because I don't have skewers. So, a little ghetto, but what else? I'm watching this vlog because I love this girl. Um, her name is Gem Marie. Gem Marie, and I love watching her vlogs. She's so relaxing. And I'm just like, I want to like have my editing style kind of like hers. My vlogs are very just kind of like cut through um they don't really have like a theme or a style so i'm working on that especially if i'm going to be doing these like weekly i definitely want to give you guys interesting content tell me how you guys like my vlogs do you guys like my style how it is right now it's just very straightforward and to the point and that's it this cricket business is like hella hella like time consuming like crazy time consuming like, I definitely give props to those that do this full-time as a business because this is no joke. So, whatever people that are doing cricket things are charging, definitely pay them for it because it really takes a lot of patience to sit there and do all of these things. Like, to customize things, like, that's crazy. Hey, guys. So, I just finished the cricket thing for my nephew which it's not like perfect but you know it'll do <laughs> i tried to do like a little double drop shadow thing but the black is like a little too big and then i was just like fuck it so tomorrow i'm gonna try to make something different um i'm so tired i'm about to go take a shower and then when i get back when i'm done with the shower i'm gonna actually go ahead and edit my lip filler video my lips are crazy right now like crazy i want to share with you guys a few things that i got from tj maxx it's just a lot of sweatshirts i've been really into sweatshirts and like biker shorts or leggings because you know where are we going but i love this one i think it's so cute i definitely want like a tiger tattoo or something like i need i'm in need of a tiger tattoo then i got this one which is a deaf leopard shirt which I thought was so cute. I love the color. I got socks because we are tie-dyeing socks. And then I got this super cute sweatshirt. I'm like obsessed. I cannot wait to like wash all of these and wear them. And then the last thing I got was this file folder. It's like an accordion one. I love getting these every year to put all of my bills and like all of my stuff. So I have one of these for like... I think I have, I started this last year, so I have last year's and then I have this one now, so very exciting. Good morning, friends. So I am <sighs> tired. Just got this Dunkin' coffee. It's the extra charge coffee with 20% more caffeine in it. I got it with um, three skim milks, a vanilla shot, and three caramel swirls, so... trying to have a very productive day <laughs> these strip lights though yes 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 <laughs> they are in my amazon store you guys do you remember last week's vlog or whatever i literally would have to be right by my computer to actually like say anything um no need for that it really does brighten up the entire room it was a little struggle to put it on, but honestly, so worth it. I'm very excited about this purchase. Um, definitely the best purchase of January so far. Let's see, there's a couple more days. I've been buying a lot of things. <laughs> My room has become a little bit more of a mess than, you know, it should be. It's lived in. We gotta get, we gotta get this 
this needs to go. <laughs> um, all of these are the things that I've bought recently. Um, my presents from my nephews, their Valentine's Day gifts I'm planning. You guys, I want to have some girl chat right now. And I want to share with you guys that if you guys are single right now, do not be out here looking for a man. Don't do it. Don't waste your don't waste your time. There is life after a man. There are more important things than being with a man. Let me tell you something. All these all these quotes and all these funny TikToks that say men will take you to rock bottom. They really do. They really take you to rock bottom. They really take you out of your character. Y'all, there's a reason why on my Instagram I practice, and I really do, I genuinely do practice this on my day-to-day -day life. I practice being very positive and always looking on the right side of things because I've been there. I've been there when you literally are sucked into this world of negativity and you can't get out of it. So the people that are always positive or always like yes i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this there are people that know what the fucking rock bottom looks like and i'm one of those people <sighs> okay good night <laughs> hey guys so it's tuesday and right now i am just cleaning i need to clean this crazy ass room where did all of this laundry come from i don't know Hello, my darlings. So, it is Thursday, and I have not vlogged all all week because your girl was in a funk. Um, definitely feeling better. Really trying to get a lot of work done. Um, what I've been doing a lot recently is watching TikToks, filming TikToks um and that's about it my life is boring <laughs> um i know i said i was gonna do like a lot of different things but a lot of what i've been really trying to do is just be consistent with my content so i've just been making content often um and vlogging sucks i really wish like i had somebody that would literally follow me around all the time and record me doing things my goal in life is to find a boyfriend a husband a partner that will be just as enthusiastic as making videos and doing content as I am. I feel like that's literally where I need to be in life and that's what I need to find in a guy. Um, I can't just have like a guy that's not into it. Like, this is my life. Like, this is literally my life. I love creating content. I love connecting with you guys. I love doing all that stuff. And if I can't find a guy that does that for me, I don't like it. I don't want it. I really feel like I need somebody there for me creatively. <laughs> no, genuinely. Like, I feel like that's one of the reasons why I kind of low-key want a boyfriend. Just so I can have somebody. I need, like, a TikTok boyfriend. I need a boyfriend that's a creative to, like, like vibe with me in doing all these things, you know? Because... I've never had that. You really gotta get somebody that supports you. And I feel like I never had that. And I would love that, you know? This is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna sit here and pick off all of this glue that I was supposed to take off before I even soaked the lashes in the first place. But now we're here. This is life. Hey guys! So I'm about to curl my hair right now. I just did this, um, I just did this thing and it was decent. I feel like I have to do it again because I, I don't think it's tutorial. I don't think it's tutorial worthy. So I have to redo that. But I am on the phone with my girlfriend, Alex. <laughs> you want to know what I do all day? Literally, me and Alex just sit here and talk about makeup and talk shit and like motivate each other and like. That's film it. TikToks together. Film TikToks together. And all I do is film TikToks. That's it. Um, but your girl actually has a little datey date tonight. Um, so I'm just gonna do my hair and curl it a bit. Yeah. Let's get ready. I just finished my hair. I'm about to head out on this little date. Can you believe he never had Thai food before? Like who's never had Thai food before? 
I'm definitely questioning this decision. Um, it's so annoying dating. Like, I hate dating. Like, I hate it. Like, I would rather just sit at home and not date. Like, I feel like a lot of people think, like, when you're single, you're lonely. Like, I am so at peace that I don't have to deal with nobody and they're bullshit. Like, now looking back, I'm just like, how did I do this? Like, how did I ever, like, give up my freedom and give up my, like, time and focus on somebody else? Like... I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're in love or whatever, but like, now that I'm not in love, I'm just like, I don't get it. Love makes you do some crazy shit. I'll let you guys know how it is when I am back. It was cool. Um, I had fun. Let me tell you guys something that I've learned in 2020, and this is a part of like my what I learned in 2020. Literally date as many people as you can freaking date it's not being a hoe it's not being wild like our family members have told us it's literally like the best thing and the best gift you can give yourself is literally like exploring your options and not committing and not wasting your time on anybody like you really have to find somebody that you can vibe with on all levels and to find that person that really interests you is so important and i feel like we all like i don't know for me i guess i'm old school but like i thought like you know when you meet somebody in high school you talk to them for a long time you know that's your person no sis no 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 you can literally just let that person know that you are speaking to other people and i think that's what's the most important thing is like letting people know that because this is what happens when you get into a relationship people get comfortable People get comfortable and they think that they could just do whatever they want and it's cool. Like, no. Like, if you're in a committed relationship, you're in a committed relationship. If you're just dating around and you make that known, then it's known. And, you know, you make that decision if you want to take whatever relationship you have to a further level in whatever way, you know, you know what I mean? Like, if you chose that. But, like, once that has been, like set like you know what we're not official we're not like you know anything like that then that's a different story but i don't know that's just my thoughts i just feel like date multiple people until you find somebody that you really 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 vibe with and you know that they're really there for you and down for you other than that like who the fuck cares like nobody cares like that get away from me you know I'll chat with you guys tomorrow and let you know my plans for the upcoming week, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> Alright, I'll chat with you guys later.